Howdy y'all, hope everybody's doing well. So today we're taking a look at a product from Mid-10. I've seen some Mid-10 products on like Amazon and whatnot before. I don't have firsthand experience with any of their products. So we're gonna take a look at what they sent out here. They did send this out to me. I do appreciate that. So we have a bipod here. All right. We have our instruction manual. Just one sheet of paper folded but it uh, does look fairly thorough. I mean, there's not a whole lot of moving parts on this uh, bipod, and I'll go over that with you in a second, but it seems to be pretty, pretty clear instructions. And we get an Allen wrench. That box out of the way there. All right, so taking a look at this, this is the Mid-10 Quick Release Bipod. And first thing we're gonna talk about, you've got these little grooves here. You can store the legs in the upward position either forward or backward, depending on your preference. You can also put it anywhere in between. Locks in really tight. Just using these buttons right here is how you can move it. That seems pretty solid and fairly simple. The minimum height on this is 7.8. That's gonna be how it comes in this configuration. You do have these two buttons right here, one on either side, and that will expand this out to 10.6 inches. So, and you can go anywhere in between. You do have 360 horizontal rotation. This knob here will loosen that up and allow it to swivel. Okay, if you want it in a specific spot and you know you're good there, you just lock that down. Tighten that back down. This is the quick release. So this lever here is gonna release this piece so you can take it on and off really easy. This is set up for Picatinny rail. I've got a little piece of Picatinny rail here. So we're gonna pop that in there. And let's go ahead and tighten it down. And that's pretty solid. Now you can adjust this right here. That is what the Allen wrench they included is for. You just tighten that down if you need a little more tension, but to remove, flip that lever and you could take it off. So really nice if you want to put this on going to the range or something and you're going to store your rifle when you get home, just go ahead and quick release that off. You know, you can uh, use your buttons, fold this up to kind of smaller package. You can put it in a bag with you when you go to the range, it doesn't have to be on the rifle. So the quick release is nice. I will see how that holds up. I'm going to get this on something, get it out to the range and uh, kind of test it out. See if it's, you know, it feels pretty sturdy. I don't know if I said that already or not, but this is aluminum and polymer. So it is really lightweight. You do have some uh, rubber anti-slip feet here. So, and that seems to work pretty well. You know, it is, it, it is lightweight. Uh, I would say this is probably, you know, kind of range range ready you know if you're not shooting a ton you're not putting it on you know on anything with a ton of recoil i think this would be a, a great little bipod and and maybe even you know put it on something with a lot of recoil i don't know it's it, it seems pretty sturdy you got some cool features the the quick release um these little locking grooves that's really easy to to manipulate the 360 swivel is nice so this is my my first look at a, a product from Mid-10, and I'll, I'll say looks like it's pretty well built. You yeah, know, pretty decent little product from the looks of it. So I'm going to get this on something and get it out to the range for a little bit, and I'll give you a report back on that probably somewhere in the middle of another video. Um, whatever I put this on, if I'm, I'm shooting it, I'll, I'll let you know how it does, but I probably won't do another whole video on this, but I'll up update you a little bit longer term and after I get it out to the range. So that's what I got today on the mid tank quick release bipod. I will link this in the description below. I will also link my campsite page. There are all my affiliate links. If you end up using any of those links, doesn't cost you anything and does help the channel. So I do appreciate that. I will see y'all next time make a video. Y'all stay safe out there.